Today has been possibly the craziest day on the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Market that we have seen yet. I'm recording this video on the 6th of November. We did get road to the final Team 1 and it did come with a whole lot of panic. There was a lot of panic selling and also genuinely lots of people were opening packs. What they saved from Division Rivals also for Champions Rewards. So there was loads of packs being opened. So this did cause loads of supply. We literally had around 12 million listings on the place station market at the peak point which was around 7 p.m 7 30 p.m which was just absolutely insane one hour after the promo was released so in this video we're going to be making sense of it all taking a look what's going to be happening to the market what sort of cards i did pick up in all of the hype in all of the panic and what's sort of going to be moving forward with this market is it going to be recovering what's going to be happening and what should you be doing right now selling your cards if you made losses should you be buying everything that you need to know trying to make sense of it so make sure you guys do watch right until the end of the video because i'm going to be answering all of your questions and i guarantee you they are going to be answered in this video so before you do comment down below please make sure you do watch right until the end so getting straight into it now the market was hugely affected it was mainly the gold cards we saw some absolutely insane prices the first card i did actually go ahead and get was in the morning i did get two more Marcus Rashford and this was just a general buy because a general flip swing I was wanting to flip this card because he went low 250k I do believe this was sort of around lunchtime UK time there was a bit of panic sort of 2 p.m as well 3 p.m UK time that is when I did pick up two Marcus Rashfords for around 250,000 coins and those were absolutely amazing buys because now it turns out Marcus Rashford is pushing to around 290k 300k he's kind of fluctuating between 285k he was 300k at one point maybe i should have sold but i do think saturday tomorrow he is still going to be going back up to that a lot of these cards are fluctuating literally still even now after all of the panic one hour he's going to be really low and then the next they are going to be really high these oblacks were some buys when i did hear that oblack is probably going to be in there so i did go ahead and get a few not really the best of buys they're still around the same price maybe they they will start to go up on Saturday if they are going to be in demand because this gold is out of packs. This Rodrigo wants to watch. I did buy straight away at around 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. There was just panic selling. Of course, this is a card that is out of packs and he isn't going to be packed. He isn't going to be supplied on the market. So this was purely just panic. 120k. Unfortunately, I only got one of him. I was trying to buy more, but I didn't manage to. But that is already good. He's already gone back up to around 130k. 135 so pretty much with this market we did see a lot of panic selling that is one part of this market crash out of packs cards though rule breakers for example rule breakers Jimenez he went down to around 170k maybe even a bit lower than that and he's already back up to around 200,000 coins that's one example of just purely panic and he's already gone right back up also Renato Sanchez he was maybe around 200k gone right back up to 230k that price is just still absolutely absolutely crazy and the ones to watch example again like this Rodrigo I do believe Alan a few other cards because all of the focus were on these new road to the final cards but after those few hours of the hype did kind of fade away then these cards did start going up all of the other cards that were still available but mainly they are out of packs they did not get packed with all of this pack openings that were going on but then on the other hand we do have cards that are definitely in packs and that have definitely been extremely bad badly hit that money that price is true he did drop to around 340k 350k in the panic on playstation just absolutely madness but then he did quickly start going up also with Hyung Min son he did hit a ridiculous low price and i did find at 7 p.m was a really good time for me to pick up some bids so i do go i did go for the safest cards that i did think of there are still golds now that have actually kept on going lower that is mainly going to be the low rated cards the ones where there's still true demand and people need them in foot champions i do believe Ferland mendy is an absolutely great player a lot of the french players you will see a pattern here so Ferland mendy i did pick him up at around one for 133k other for 130k and 132k now he's going for around 140 possibly tomorrow i might sell for 145 maybe 150 if i'm lucky but we are going to see if he's going to reach that these pogbas were really good two pogbas both for around 200 
200k and he's already up to around 220k that's really good and a Sergio Ramos that has also now gone up 10k and you can see by all of these bids look at this more Pogba's were won at 200k so many there and also we did have Ramos that literally just went no one was bidding on them this Ramos as well someone bought for 125k I didn't have enough coins to outbid him 126k all of these bids were left unopened like unbidded on also this one 123,000 coins sterling as well sterling was decent i picked up a few at around 90,000 coins possibly he's going to be going up so bids were definitely a really really good thing i did tweet it out at 7 p.m it was absolutely insane because everyone relisted all of these cards and that is why we saw so many of those ramos no one was really buying him and those bids literally went untouched when they would have been absolutely amazing deals that is just evidence of how ridiculous this was today and it's definitely something that we haven't really experienced i do believe that was the record 12 million transfers but what is going to be happening to the market from now on the lower rated cards are unfortunately still going to continue to go lower so maybe a card sort of like usman dembele someone like that there still might be a few thousand coins recovery but then each time it is going to be less and less he's going to be going down again with weekend league sell-off and then on thursday he isn't going to go back to what he was before and the week after that is going to go lower again and then we do have black friday that is when a lot of the gold cards are going to be hit badly but for example these cards that i do have i'm going to be selling them tomorrow morning or if the market does go up sort of now into the night that might be a sell time but i do think early morning uk time maybe 6 a.m 7 a.m that is going to be a decent time to sell but then do be careful there is still going to be a lot of panic and sunday is definitely a time i want to have all of my coins available again because it's going to be a lot of selling the market right now is very volatile there's so many things going on but there is still room to trade with the out of packs cards the rule breakers informs and ones to watches all of the informs that are not part of team of the week six cards like Zhao felix i am tracking him trying to see when his lowest point is going to be but it is very very hard to tell a lot of people were buying him sniping him at 170 160 and he's gone down even further than that so i will be tracking them but all of the cards that are actually out of packs not including team of the week six that is going out of packs on wednesday of course let me know down in the comments below what do you guys see on the market and i really appreciate the absolutely insane support right now it really really means a lot thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time